Hey, what's up guys? I've got some of my cleaner left here, so um, I wanted to show you how to actually fully clean the throttle body. So we'll remove this bit here, uh, turn it around, clean it out, clean the mesh and put it back. So I'll still use the EGR cleaner that I had. This one's compatible with the throttle body. It says on the label. So when you do that, check the label as well. So as with the click quick clean video, we just need to remove these two here, these screws, loosen them, and then you can pop this right off. And there is our throttle body. I'll grab some Allen keys and get this loose. I've just moved the assembly here out of the way. Uh, you disconnect your mass airflow and just move it to the side. Now here's an Allen key, and this means we can twist that a lot easier. This comes loose. This comes loose. This comes loose and this one will come loose as well, I guess. Yes, there you go. Now, before we remove this, just want to unclip these so we can make some space. Well, I've got this loose now. And actually, if I look at this, the carbon buildup is not too bad. It's still pretty clean. Uh, the last time we did that from the top only was actually pretty effective. So you can check out my other video on how to do that. Uh, for some other vehicles, it might be a better idea to remove it fully, but in this case, it was very, very effective. So I'm gonna put this back, and then I'll start looking at the EGR valve. So when we close this up, you want to first hand tighten these very lightly, because we want to have even pressure everywhere. And then we'll use a star pattern to tighten these down. So again, don't apply much pressure, just nice and easy. Just close this up. and then move across from one to the other. So from here to here, here to here, here to here. And don't over tighten, just use small turns. And you can see I'm getting some more play here, here as well. And I'll just repeat this process and now just a bit harder. And one final time to properly seal it off. Right, there we go. Don't forget these hoses that have come off. Check for any of the switches. And this can now go back on, like so. And then we'll close this up. And that's how you change the throttle body. Not change, clean. Of course, it's a full clean. Um, in my other video, I've got a bit more detail in there, so just watch that one if you want. Uh, now I'll move on to the EGR.